the challenges you have are principally biotic. You have some viruses in East Africa that are not in West Africa. For example, if you look at the cassava mosaic disease, we have the Ugandan variant too, which was responsible for the epidemic we had in East Africa that ravaged cassava. You have uh, the East African cassava mosaic virus, we have the African cassava mosaic virus in West Africa. And the interaction of those two viruses can also be a problem. So it means that uh, when you read, you need to take into consideration that factor. Then you also have the cassava brown streak disease, which is a virus that you have in East Africa and it's rapidly expanding. Uh, it's spread from East Africa to Southern, moving into Central Africa, not yet in West Africa. That is also very devastating. So the breeding program will need to factor in those differences in the biotic stress. For example, the breeding program in West Africa will principally commence with evaluation for cassava mosaic disease. But in East Africa, it will combine both East African mosaic and CBSV. And to do that, it means that if you are going to breed, you must integrate those two viruses before you can start evaluating for other major traits. Uh, in terms of abiotic stresses like drought, I think the same ap approach can be applicable. If there are no differences between the jump plasm, I believe the jump plasm in East Africa will be more adapted because they may have been selected over time for that region and those in West Africa. But again, efforts are also going to ensure that those jump plasm are accessible to partners wherever it is needed.